So the question of uh, December 2012, is one. Question of December 12, is one A. Uh, the question is asking us to get the maximum profit. When you're asked to get the maximum profit, the very first thing that you need to do is to get something we call profit fund. Is to get something we call profit fund. Now in getting this, you will need to remind yourself that profit is given as a total revenue, you minus total cost. Total revenue, you minus a total cost. Total revenue, you minus total cost. Our profit, when it's my one, pie. And uh, the total revenue here is minus 38,400 S minus 36 L square plus 438 S square plus 2000. Now that is the total revenue. You minus the total cost, one million minus four eighty six S square minus three twenty four SL minus twenty seven L square. 7L squared. So when you put it that way, uh, you now proceed and say this is minus 38,400S minus 36L squared plus 438S squared plus 2 million minus 1 million plus 486 S square plus 324 SL plus 7 L square plus 27 L square. Now you put right terms together. Seek to put right terms together. And in seeking to do so, this S is on its own. There's no other S, so it remains as minus 38,400 S. This L square joins this one. So we have minus 36 plus 27. That gives us as minus 9. Is it 9? 9 L square, then this S square 436 and this uh, 486, they join. Uh, you are left with, uh, I think, 924. This plus this. It's 924. Confirm. 924s squared. Then this 2 million to join this 1 million so that you are left with the 1 million. And then this 324 is left on its own. 
324SL. It's left on its own. So that is what we call profit fund. What we call profit fund. Uh, then from there, the question asks us to get maximum profit. Now, in getting maximum profit, Getting maximum profit, we need to say that if we differentiate pi with respect to s, and then we differentiate pi with respect to l, this one should be equal to zero. The first order differential is zero. Now, this is what we call partial differential because you can see we have two independent variables we have s and l. Now, the differential of pi with respect to s will be equal to, now this one has s. So in the back here is minus 38, 400. This one does not have s, so it becomes zero. This one has s. So you multiply by two, you get 18 watts. 1848s. This one does not have s, so it becomes zero. This one has s, so you multiply by one, left to 324L. And this one is equal to zero, and we call it equation number one. Uh, the differential of pi with respect to L, the differential of pi with respect to L, uh, if you differentiate this because of L becomes zero, there is no L, this remains as minus 18 L. This one does not have L, so it goes, uh, this one also, but this one has L, so we are left with uh, 324S. C equals to zero, and you call this one equation two. When you have those two equations, you solve them now using elimination method, where we can say removing L from equations, from equations one and two, from equations one and two, I'm going to have a 324L plus 1848S is equals to 38,400, and then negative 18L, plus 324s is equals to zero. And because you can see the coefficients here are different, the easiest way is always to multiply by the opposite coefficient. So here I multiply by 18, and here I multiply by 324. Then we see we get higher. To a calculator, and you tell me that if you multiply 24 by 18, what do you get? Hmm? 58 plus 2. 58 plus 2. 58. 58 plus 2L plus 1848 times 18. Hmm? 364 s uh, 38 400 times 18 
Uh, here multiplied by 324, it should be negative 58, that 2L, 324 times 324. 104976S is equal to zero. So if you want L to disappear, you add those two functions. You add those two functions. So uh, this one goes, so this plus this, you get 135, 138. Two hundred and forty S is equal to six ninety one two hundred. So from there, tell me S is what? Five. So S is five units. Then you see using Equation uh, what? Equation uh, two. Using equation two, we shall see minus eighteen L plus three twenty four times five is equals to zero. Now tell me L is what? Hence, pi will be equal to, you go to the equation we had here, which is minus 38, 400s, so multiplied by 5, minus 9 times 90 squared. As nine twenty four times S squared, five squared plus one million plus three twenty four times five times ninety. Through. Okay. So if we are through, let's go to this question of June 2019.
Aha, read through. Read through that question. So, if you have read here, the question is asking us to get the total profit function. So, we just begin the same way profit function. A profit function, I've told you, is given as a profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost. Uh, this question has not given us the functions for both. So what we shall do, we shall proceed and say total cost is going to be given as the integration of the marginal cost that is given there. The marginal cost function is uh, x plus 50. You integrate this with respect to x. Now, this proceeds to become x current raised by one, you add back one, because this is indefinite integration. You divide by the new power, one plus one. Then 50, which is currently x raised to power zero. You add back one. You divide by the new power of one plus zero. And then you add C, which is called the constant of integration. Constant of integration. And uh, this now becomes uh, 0 0.5 X square plus 50 X plus C. I told you when you're dealing with the total cost function, C is the fixed cost. So the fixed cost here is uh, 500. 
thousand, but we shall just write five hundred because we know uh, that the function is two thousand. Now total revenue. Total revenue. We are told is quadratic. So if it's quadratic, we have to be there. And we say the format of a quadratic function is ax squared plus bx plus c. That's the format of a quadratic function. So we now substitute, whereby we shall say 1650 equals. 10 squared is equal to what? 100. So 100A plus 10B plus C, and that one you call it equation number one. That 375 is equal to 25 square is what? 625 A plus 25B plus C. And then for 200 is equal to 40, 40 square is what? 1600A plus 40B plus C. That is equation number three. Then from there we say removing, removing C from equations one and two, one and two. Now this one is shall go straight. This is not the first time we are seeing this. So that's a 1650 minus 375. 1650 minus 375 is what? Negative seventeen twenty five equals a hundred minus six twenty five. Negative five twenty five e ten minus twenty five minus minus 15b. Now this one, call it equation number four. Uh, removing C from equations two and three, equations two and three, uh, we do the same. Tell me that 375 minus 4200. 25. Negative 825. Uh, 625 minus 1600 is negative 975 e. 25 minus 40. Negative. 15B. So this one call it equation uh, what five. So removing B. Removing B from uh, equations four and five. Now that we can see the B sense, now that's in a command. So there's no need of copying again. We can go straight. We know for them to disappear, it will be minus. So the two are minus 1725 minus minus 825. Minus nine, 900. Uh, then we say minus 525 minus minus 975. Okay. 
450A. So if it is uh, 450A, it follows that A should be equal to minus what? Two. Then using equation, using equation five, you will see minus A25 is equals to minus 975 times minus two minus 15b. Tell me the value of b will be what from there. One eighty five. So B is one eighty five. Then using equation one, using equation uh, one, using equation one, we shall have uh, sixteen fifty being equal to 100A plus 10, oh, sorry, now we know A and we know B. So it will be 100 times minus two plus 10 times one is the five plus C. So tell me C is what? C is zero. Hence, uh, total revenue should be equal to negative two x square plus one eight five x. Thus, profit should be equal to minus two x square plus one eight five x minus the cost the cost of 0 0.5 x square 0 0.5 x square plus 50 x plus 500. So y becomes minus two x square plus one eight five x minus zero point five squared minus fifty x minus five hundred. So Sasa, we put right terms together. Uh, this square, uh, this one, we are left with minus 2.5 x what? Square, this and this gives us uh, plus one that five x minus what? 500, minus 500.
So when they ask you now to tell us maximum profit is what? I have told you, you say, if we were to differentiate with respect to x, this function minus 2.5x squared plus 135x minus 500, it should be equal to zero. If you differentiate it, it should be equal to zero. So this becomes a uh, minus 5x plus 135 is equals to zero. So from there, x will be what? Twenty seven units, and hence that profit that is maximum will be. We already have the function for profit here, which is minus two point five x square plus. Uh, Am I forgetting to substitute? So it's minus uh, 2.5. You multiply this by 27, which is squared. You add 135, multiply by 27, you less 500. Less. That's how you get the maximum profit. Let's now go to B2015. Question uh, 1C. Look at it. So. Now, in that question, we are told number one to get the marginal cost fund. Get the marginal cost fund. Now, in getting the marginal cost function, uh, we have been given three values and been advised that. The function is quadratic. So that requires us to say that MC will be AQ squared plus BQ plus C. Remember, it's not a must, you use X all the time, and as well use Q. Q and X are used interchangeably. So with that, then. Our marginal cost will be 22 is equals to 50. 50 squared is what? 2500 A plus 50 B plus C. And that one you call it equation number one. 
Uh, the next one is right uh, to hundred is hundred squared is what? Ten thousand. So ten thousand A plus a hundred B plus C is Roman two. Four that six equals two hundred square is what? Forty thousand A plus two hundred B plus C. And that is equation three. So like we have done, we will see moving C from uh, moving C from equations. One and two. Uh -huh. 22 minus 100 is a negative 78. Uh -huh. 2500 minus 10,000. Uh -huh. 50 minus 100. Good. And that one we call it equation number four. Then removing. C from equations. Equations are two and three. Two and three. A uh, hundred minus four that is six. You get negative three that is six. Ah, uh, we will begin at ten minus forty. You get minus thirty thousand A. And the other one, you get minus what? So minus 100B. So you call it equation five. Then you say removing B from equations uh, four and five. Now, instead of double work, okay? you see now these ones are not the same. So you can't subtract straight like we did with the other one. Eh? You must make them to be equal. And uh, like we did with the other question, the first one, one of the ways is to multiply by opposite coefficients. So here you multiply by 100, and here you multiply by 50. If not opposite coefficients, you look for a number that if you multiply the equation uh, by that number, these two will be the same. Right. So you can either use the opposite coefficients or you can use a number. Like now here, if I multiply here by two, see this would be 100. And then here I multiply by one. Here, because how am I to, I use 150. Because how, eh? Yeah, and then you don't have to write them again here. You can just write when you need a pika. You can use a is marking the paper knows what you're doing. So when you do that, eh? so now tell me 78 times 2. Negative 156 equals negative what? 15,008. And minus. 100B. Then he give me the minus 336 equals minus 30,000A minus 100B. Now you subtract. So minus 156 minus minus 336 is what? 180. Positive, eh? 
180 there equals, uh, it's also positive 15,000 E. Because ah, so based on that, tell me the value of E is what? Value of A. Zero point zero one two. So Tasa, to keep here to say me using equation uh, five. I'll say minus 336 equals minus 30,000 multiplied by 0 0.012 minus 100B. So based on that, tell me the value of B. Negative. Zero point two. Zero point two. Two four. Two four. Ah, yeah. Sasa, to give you to say me using equation one. Using equation one, I will say twenty two equals two thousand five hundred times. 0 0.012 uh, plus 50 times minus 0 0.24 plus C. So you tell me the value of C. Mm -hmm. So C is four. So if C is four, thus MC is uh, zero point zero one two Q squared minus zero point two four Q plus four. Plus four. Uh, the next thing that you will need is called uh, total cost function. A total cost function you get it by integrating the marginal cost because so that is what we have. So TC will be the integral of 0 0.012 Q squared minus 0 0.24 Q plus 4 with respect to Q. With respect to Q. Sasa he itakuwa TC is equal to 0 0.012 
q squared you add back one you divide by two plus one minus zero point two four q current raised by one you add back one you divide by the new power one plus one plus four q raised to power zero you add back one you divide by zero plus one you add c the constant of integration and c the constant of integration and uh, this proceeds to become uh, this one when you divide by three you get uh, 0 0.004 q cubed this one you divide by two get minus 0 0.12 q square plus 4q plus c. c we are told the fixed cost is how much? 10. So you add 10. You add 10. The next item that you require is known as total revenue function. Now, total revenue, we know it is given as the price times units. You know that so well. That if you are looking for Revenue is price times units. So the examiner here had given us the price function is 4.28. 4.28 minus 0.005Q. 0.005Q. Now this one we multiply by Q. And this becomes 4.28Q minus 0 0.005 Q squared. Nasoka two. Nasasa to go for Maria to total profit fund. Total profit fund. Now the total profit function pi, we know that we need to get the revenue, which is 4.28Q less 0.005Q squared, that is the revenue. Then you minus the total cost, the total cost we have it here as 0.004Q cubed minus 0.12Q squared, plus 4q plus 10. So opening the brackets, we find that this is 4.28q minus 0.005q squared minus 0.004q cubed plus 0.12q squared minus 4q minus 10. So putting the items together, we get uh, this 4.28 to join these four. We are left with 0.28q. This square here to join this one. So tell me what it is. Uh, zero minus 0 0.005 plus 0 0.12 it is what? Uh, positive, eh? 0 0.113 Q square. 115. 115. <coughs> Minus 0 0.004 cube cubed minus 10. So 
So proceeding. The next agenda now is to look for maximum profit. Maximum profit. And we have said when you want to look for maximum profit, you say the differential of pi with respect to Q. So pi is 0 0.28 Q. Uh, plus 0 0.115 Q square minus 0 0.004 Q cubed minus 10 should be equal to zero. Should be equal to zero. So this opens up as what? 0 0.28 plus 0 0.23 Q minus 0 0.012 Q squared. Is that so? Yeah. And that gives us a quadratic function. So using quadratic formula, using quadratic formula, which is normally given as uh, Q is equals to minus B plus or minus B squared minus four AC. Uh, this one, you get the square root. You get the square root, you divide by 2a, so q is minus b, so b is uh, minus 0 0.23 plus or minus 0 0.23 square minus 4 times a, a is minus 0 0.012 and c is 0 0.28. Uh, so, so this one, we are looking for the square root, and then the rule of this, you divide by 2 times minus 0, 1, 2, so Q is minus 0 0.23 plus or minus. <clears throat> minus 0 0.024. So you proceed and tell me minus 0 0.23 plus minus 0 0.024 for all minus 0 0.23 minus divide by minus 0 0.024. So you tell me Q is what or what?
Aha, ya kwanza umepata? Two five. The next one. Twenty points. Four two. Now, because you cannot have a negative unit, we go with the positive. But if both are positive, because there is a possibility of both being positive, you differentiate them by substituting each one of them in the profit function here and checking which one gives you more profits or higher profits. So then we will say Q is 20.42 which you can even round up to 21 units. There will be no harm. You don't round it down, you round it up. So if you round it up, uh, then you proceed and tell us Profit should be equal to, you now substitute that in our profit function here, 0 0.28 times 21 plus 0 0.115 times 21 square minus 0 0.004 times 21 cubed minus 10. Nine point six. Nine point six. Uh, yeah. The next that we can attempt is September Question 1D, September 2015, Question 1D, 
Now, what we are told is to get the profit maximization. So you start by developing what we call demand function. These are what we call demand function. Demand function. Now, demand function is usually given as P is equals to A minus BQ. Is equals to A minus BQ. So when we are told that at the price of 220, we are able to sell 40 units. That is how you use the information to get question one. Then we are told in Kiyogeza Bay to 240, the demand comes down to 30. And that is uh, so solve from there and give me the values of A and B. So those two equations.
Ya. ¿De Anza? ¿De Barrio B? ¿De Barrio B es igual a 2? ¿De ¿De Barrio B? ¿De So B is 300 minus 2Q. That's how you are to a demand function. The next one is total revenue function. Now we know revenue is the price you multiply by the units. So this will be 300Q minus 2Q squared. Uh, we will begin it, but you require an it to a total cost function. Now the total cost function, <coughs> what you're given is the marginal. So you integrate 40Q plus 2Q squared plus 2 with respect to Q. So this becomes 40Q base power 1 plus 1 out of 1 plus 1 plus 2Q, 2 plus 1 divided by that plus 2Q raised power 0 plus 1 out of 0 plus 1 plus C. So this becomes a uh, 20 Q squared plus two Q cubed out of three plus two Q plus C. C is uh, five. Because of Sasa, toka hapo, sinasoka, unasema total what? Total profit function. Total profit function. And pi uh, is equal to uh, 300Q minus 2Q squared. minus 20q squared plus 2q cubed out of 3 plus 2q plus 5. So this becomes uh, 300q minus 2q squared minus 20q squared minus 2q cubed out of 3, minus 2q minus 5. So this becomes uh, what? 298q minus 22q squared minus 2q cubed out of 3 minus five as a profit fund. Sasa, if they tell you to get maximum profit, maximum profit, you see the differential with respect to Q of 298Q minus 22Q squared minus two cubed, out of three minus five should be equal to zero. So this is 298 minus 44Q minus two Q square is equal to zero. Is it? So using quadratic formula, quadratic formula, which we have written uh, earlier on, 
we get Q is minus B. So minus minus, that becomes 44, plus or minus 44 square minus uh, four times A, which is minus two times C, which is two, nine, eight. Of, uh, two times minus two. So, Nanana can appear the final answers. Yeah. Here is no the very five, very last, the very last five point five. Okay, the other one was negative. Yeah? Okay, so if that is the case, uh, the question was asking us to give what to give the price. So at this point, at this point, P will be equal to uh, B equal to 300 minus two times 5.5. Two eight nine. Uh, elasticity, which is normally given as n, is given as p out of q multiplied by the difference of p with respect to q. You raised power minus one. So this proceeds to become n is uh, 289. You divide by 5.5. How much you to be units? 5.5 times. If function here price, this one, eh? this one that we had here of 300 minus uh, what? Uh, 2q, you differentiate it with respect to q. So it's about minus 2. So this minus 2, you raise it to a minus 1. 
That is what will give us the answer that we desire. The profit, which we profit function, which was 298, you multiply by 5.5. Minus 22 multiplied by 5.5 squared minus 2 times 5.5 cubed out of 3 minus 5. Yeah, so you can do many others. Uh, can do many others. 